Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So, uh, we've been working on something pretty interesting uh, in contact with uh, a buddy of mine. His name is Vitali. And uh, what he's been working on is something that I think most of us in the Mustang community have been wanting for at least quite some time, or at least ever since it came out. And that is the digital dash, right? So the 2018 and up Mustangs have the option to have the digital dash display, which is actually pretty awesome. But us guys who have the 2011 and up Mustang, whether it's a base GT premium, it doesn't matter, it would be great to have this. So. Vitali has come up with a way where we can actually get this. So I'm gonna show you kind of how we're working this piece. So right here I have an example of a base cluster. So as you can see, this is just a standard base cluster, nothing special about it, right? So the concept is that with the 2011 and up, and I know the 2010s as well possibly, you have the issue with the PAT system. The PAT system, you need the key, and the key goes into, basically, it registers with a, a cluster. So 2015 and up, since their keyless entry, PAT system is not really uh, an issue when it comes to the cluster. It's based off of the, the little, um, you got something inside there that the key recognizes. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna see how you can get all the readings from the cluster to be displayed on a screen. Okay guys, we're in the car now and uh, we're gonna go ahead and put the key in the ignition because this is what's gonna activate PATS. So we got everything on. If you have an N-gauge or an SCT tuner or anything in that nature, you know that the information that is getting sent to this is coming from your ECU, your OBD2 reader. Some of the pins that we're using, the PIDs, are going to be from that ECU, but others are not. I'm sorry, I hate this noise. So as you can see, we have the center display, and the center display is going to be, we're gonna to wanna to keep that because it has a lot of vital information that we're gonna need, right? Right now, the one thing that we're working on getting accomplished, or at least use, utilizing, is these actual buttons to actually use the buttons that's going to work on the digital display currently the issue we're running into right now is all the other sensors that are going to tell us check engine or seat belt light is on or off or any of these other lights where we're working on getting the PID information for that. And here's a picture or a video of how we're pinning that out right now. So the final product, or at least the final way we want to do it, is to look as OEM as possible because this, the actual length, width, and depth of these are actually almost identical to the 2018 and up. So we're able to trim these pieces here or probably get them 3D printed or something like that so it actually looks factory OEM. So I know the information is a little vague and right now we don't have a lot more information to give you guys, but we're working on it. Um, we're hoping to have at least the first prototype completed within a month from the posting of this video today. Um, throughout the time, we're gonna go ahead and be posting updates on uh, new feats that we get through and um, kind of uh, new steps that we take to get it to where we want it to be. I appreciate a bunch of you guys or a bunch of people who already messaged me saying that they can assist with either CNC machining or 3D printing or anything like that. 
right now we're, we're not at that step where we might need that stuff because we're starting from just the electronics portions of it all cosmetic stuff we'll go ahead and worry about that later we just want to make sure fitment is right we want to make sure that all the pins we're using are right all the pids we're using are right um, and it'll work perfect so subscribe to the channel um, hit that notification bell because I'm going to be posting just more information on it so that way you don't miss the next step or at least the part two so this is gonna be the part one of the video the explanation and how we're working it so thanks again and stay tuned for the next update